any favorite Kishore R D song? Infinite. <laughs> Infinite. Okay. But 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 if I put you on the spot, which is that Kishore R D uh, song? Kishore R D is a oh, very okay, rare yes. combination. Yes. Yeah, but no. But Kishore Kumar, of course. Which one? Well, कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना छोड़ो बेकार की बातों में कहीं बीत न जाए रहना just to what tell a our composition just to tell our viewers these are three singers and one bathroom singer just keep that in mind but sur mein hai yaar sur mein hai yaar aapka but you know the fact is shankar uh, you know is it that the training is less today than it was for your generation the competition is surely intense but the training the riyas the effort that you started at the age of 5 with all the instruments is it less for the next generation you know no all this is a myth here i feel today singers i mean the good ones let's not even talk about mediocrity mm -hmm. let's not talk about people who fix their voices the, on auto tune and they 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 make a single hit we are not even talking about them because you know mediocrity exists in every art form mm -hmm. so let's not even talk about let's talk about the good singers people who are dedicated i can't tell you how professional they are i can't tell you how hard working they are i can't tell you how prepared they are and the technicality is the professionalism the etiquettes i'm talking about say for example get, come, uh, getting a studio to a uh, uh, i mean singer to the studio when he or she comes she or he they are very well prepared very well uh, they know what's happening do they have the voices of a kishore or a lata see that we can't predict now see how can you say uh, anybody can have they have their own and look at arijit singh i mean i think he's fabulous mm. he's a fabulous artist he is the only artist who probably knows how to write notations mm. you know whereas you know there are many singers who don't know whether it's what is a sa what is a pa what is a da they just shooting in the dark but this guy arijit singh shreya ghoshal they are all fabulous sonu nigam when they come on in the studio bang on they are bang on you know now one of the more interesting aspects of music because of the age of online is to you can take music across all boundaries almost instantly in real time and you set up a online academy of music yeah yeah it's tell us more about that i mean is that also part of india tomorrow in a way well it's it's part of india today and india tomorrow because you know it's just the convenience of see if you if you ask a, a young kid today to sit and sit in one place and you know sing Uh, one hour of only sa and re he probably might you know just lose interest and run away because everything is fast everything is on the mobile phone everything you need to though you're teaching a traditional art form you need to package it in such a way that you maintain the interest of the generation so i set up an academy shankar madhavan academy along with my partner shridhar ranganathan both of us engineers that's where my engineering has come uh, of use so now this online academy we started with 10 students uh, 10 years back and now we are in 88 countries 88 countries 88 countries and teaching music 24/7 because teachers are there i've got over 100 teachers from all over the world so depending on the time zones and it's an amazing academy i'm not saying it because it's mine but the way it is shaped up because of my partner shridhar he's a he's a tech genius and he set it up in such a way that people are so happy with this academy and uh, we are teaching hardcore indian classical music hindustani carnatic film songs bhajans everywhere you know because there is this you know there is this belief that the guru shishya parampara which was spoken about for years for decades for centuries is getting diluted does your generation still you know venerate the idea of having a guru having someone whom you learn from train from or you know because there is this myth that the younger india is not interested in the guru shishya parampara as much as the previous generation was are you as devoted uh, to the idea that you could learn from someone whether online offline it all depends on what you want to learn what kind of music you want to get into when you have to learn indian classical music you have to learn from a guru you have to learn from someone who is experienced who has learned and you know who can teach you that kind of music so you know when you talk about the academy uh, you know the teachers have to know how to teach 
and you know and 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 the students have to be interested to learn and only if you're interested to learn uh, you know hardcore classical music is when you you have to have that guru shishya parampara which is still there no but is this younger india your india interested in classical music not or everybody. not everybody not definitely everybody. Yeah, yeah or is, is it is it, it get, also. no but is it getting lost out because of this emphasis on no, uh, you know, if, this, if 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 uh, Indian classical music was getting lost out, my academy wouldn't be present in eighty-eight present, countries. Yeah. See, the thing is, what what uh, uh, people mis mis uh, understand is when you learn classical music, it is only to perform classical music. Yeah. That is not the reason for learning classical music. Absolutely. You learn classical music, but you do acid jazz. Nobody cares. You you are just uh, increasing the the your fundamentals. You're making it stronger. You know, it's your alphabets, your grammar of the language of music becomes strong.